Now you are looking at me and saying, oh boy, these people are pretty dense, eh? No. They're people just like you and me, except they don't really understand how the real world works. You guys understand much more, and I hope I do too, about how the real world works. You don't know how it works, but you understand more about how it works and how it can be made to work better. But um, I'm sure you're familiar with Lawrence Livermore Labs. Not too far from here. Lawrence Livermore Labs has a bunch of physicists, um, all PhDs, I'm sure, working uh, there. And uh, I got a call from one of them a couple of years back. He said, oh boy, you're a million dollar prize. It's one, it's gone, that's it. Say goodbye to it. I said, I'll come. Well, a physicist from Israel came over here and brought with him a fellow named Ronnie Marcus. Ronnie Marcus was doing the Uri Geller Act, bending spoons and reading the contents of sealed envelopes and good stuff like this, all stuff which has been in the magician's repertoire for, for generations now. And um, they said, we uh, put him through a test, and he passed. He's the real thing, all right. This is what fooled him at Lawrence Livermore Labs. He asked them to get him a box of matches, just a box of, this hasn't got many matches left in it, five or six matches. Ordinary box of matches, and of course being scientists, they examined it with laser beams. <laughs> Scanned it in infrared and ultraviolet. Weighed it to the millionth of a gram, way, way down there. Examined each one of the matches very carefully. Photographed it, polarized light, the whole thing. Everything you can imagine. Complete analysis. Made sure there were no threads, wires, magnets, nothing unusual about it. Came from Morton's Steakhouse. They got it themselves from Morton's Steakhouse. This isn't the original box. That's a sacred element. They probably got it in a glass case with an arrow point. <laughs> and they gave it to Ronnie Marcus, and he said, well, this is a proof of what we call in the trade psychokinesis, and this is what he did. Wait. Yeah. Enough matches. You, you need a certain number of matches in there. It's not going to work very well. This is what he did. He placed it in the back of his hand like this, and he said to them, oops, he said, watch. The box will actually begin to rise. Look at this. It's rising. It's actually rising in the back of the hand. And it rose up, and then he said, and then when I relax the psychic power, it sinks back down again. Oh <laughs> now, I don't know how it was done. <laughs> But I'm working on it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this uh, little parlor trick is in a book uh, called um, Martin Gardner's Encyclopedia of Impromptu Tricks. And Martin advertised that you can learn to do tricks like this. You don't have to paint your body red and run around naked with a lampshade on your head in order to be an attraction at the next party, you see. <laughs> this is a lot simpler and cheaper and doesn't get your wife quite as angry at you at all. It's very simple. You simply squeeze some of the skin on the back of your hand into the box as you close the box, and you, you know, turn like this, and it rises straight up like that, and then it goes all the way down again. A miracle of a semi-religious nature. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Souvenir for you. There you go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, that fooled him at Lawrence Livermore. Oh, not all of them, no. A few of them were taken in by it. The rest of them said they just didn't care much. <laughs> but they should care. For more of James Randi and the Educational Foundation, make sure you visit randy.org.